Hello, this is Delusional. For today's video, I'll be making an all-in-one guide for Shaheen. Shaheen's playstyle is based mostly on the fundamentals of Tekken. Shaheen doesn't really have gimmicks that allow for strong tools to break the overall balance of the fight to his favor. Instead, he's more prone to rely mostly on the basic tools that he has available. Though in Tekken 8, he has received some new skills that allow for easier close-up engagements against his opponents allowing him access to not just the overall basics but simple mix-up options to break somewhat even with the stronger ladder of characters in game. For now, I'll explain to the newcomers some of the basic terms and notations you'll need to get accustomed with in order to understand basic fighting game terminology. For 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and back, down, forward, and up are basically connected to the move commands and attack prompts in game. 1, 2, 3, 4 are associated with the character's limbs. 1 is left punch, 2 is right punch, 3 is left kick, 4 is right kick. For the movement commands, they are pretty straightforward. Instead of typing up or down, we instead type U and D for the respective up and down motions. So when you see F4, that just means press forward 4 on the movement controls, then pressing right kick or the 4 attack input. There's also commands like D slash F, which just means pressing down forward. There's also notations that show a dark arrow, simply representing the, that the input must be pressed and hold down in order to activate the move. These are the basic notations for any beginners looking into this video. With the image on display, you can see what the notations look like for Tekken. There are more notations to learn, however I'll just link a website that showcases each kind of notation that will further your Tekken 8 journey. Now for frame data, to keep it simple, anything that is minus 9 and lower is safe to block when you attack the opponent. However, anything that is minus 10 and higher cannot be safely blocked after the move. If the move is plus on hit or on block, it means you still have your turn to attack. However, it doesn't always mean that you will guarantee a direct hit off of the opponent, as they can still move or block depending on how plus you are. So now, I'll showcase some sections for Shaheen's overall game. The sections will be divided and timestamped according to each important point of his gameplay. I'll show his neutral game plan, punishment tools, his stance and stance transitioning moves, starter combos, mix-up options, okazeme, and heat implications and combos. We'll start off with the neutral game plan now. One, it's 10 frames on startup and it's plus eight on hit or plus one on block. Giving Shaheen more chances to steal the turn and bombard the opponent with other moves. There's three more streams you can delve into for more options and mix up play with one, two, 1 2 4 and 1 2 2. 1 2 string is plus 8 on hit while minus 3 on block. Using 1 2 4 is minus 13 on block, which means you can get punished. On hit, it floats the opponent while also being your tornado bound. Use it sparingly as it's not your best neutral string. 1 2 2 is also minus 11 on block but plus 3 on hit. One of the qualities of 1-2-2 two, two is that the last hit can be delayed. So by delaying the last hit, you can have a mix-up option to catch the unknowingly player off guard, since it leads into a launch on counter hit. 2-1 is another 10 frame on startup string, though on hit it's plus 2, and on block it's minus 4. Nothing special with this besides that it leads into his 10 hit string. The 2 1 does end with a mid, so you can mix up slightly with the string. Down forward 1 is a mid 13 frame on startup move. It's plus 5 on hit, but minus 1 on block, though still safe to block after. Down forward 4 3 is a natural string that links together on hit and wall splats. On block, it's minus 4, so it's safe to block after. Though, it can be ducked against you. 
There's a different follow-up to the strain with down forward forward 1 that hits mid, and it's plus 2 on hit, while minus 9 on block. There's an ender to the strain with down forward 4 1 3 that hard knocks down. However, it's not a natural strain, while being minus 13 on block so it's unsafe. Use this mostly at the wall or in combo enders, though you can delay the ender to catch the opponent off guard in the neutral. 4 1 is a natural 2 hit strain. At 13 principal startup, it's plus 5 on hit and minus 5 on block. One of your go-to counter-hitting launching neutral tools to stop opponents from mashing during plus frames, though it can be ducked to punish you. Down 3 is a low-hitting 16 frame on startup move and it's 0 frames on hit, while on block it's minus 14. Has decent short to mid-range reach for poking the target. Down 4 is another low at 19 frames on startup and plus 1 on hit while minus 12 on block. It has shorter reach than down 3 but leaves you standing for movement unlike with down 3. SS2, or sidestep 2, is another low with even greater reach at 0 frames on hit while minus 13 on block. It leaves you crouching as well. Back 4 is 17 frames on startup, plus 4 on hit and minus 15 on block. Though it has great reach as a mid-range poke and on counter hit, it leads to a launch. So use this move at tipping point, not at close range. Also, the move flips targets when they are grounded. Down forward 3 is a much safer option to back 4 and it's homing. Though with slightly lower reach than back 4, it's 17 frames on startup and it's plus 9 on hit with pushback. Gives wall rebound for plus 21 on hit, or minus 9 on block. Forward 4 is another homing high move at 15 frames of startup. It's only minus 2 on block, while on hit it knocks down. It also gives a free back 4 when the target is grounded. Up forward 1 is a heat engager, while knocking the target down without heat, and plus 1 on block. Back 3 plus 4 is another heat engager, that also power crushes, leaving you in an armored state for a few frames the tank incoming hits. Without heat, it hard knocks down and it's minus 9 so it's safe. Down back 2-1 is a mid to high 14 frame starter string that heat engages. It's minus 11 on block, but since the move has massive pushback, most characters can punish you. However, the ender is a high that can be ducked if the first hit is blocked. Full crouch, or FC, down forward, down, down forward, 3 is Shaheen's well-known slide kick. It's low and knocks down while placing you in stealth step stance. It's minus 23 so you have to be careful when using it when blocked. However, most players won't know how to properly punish you when failing to hit with slide kick. While running 2 is 17 frames on startup. On hit, it knocks down while plus 5 on block. One of his best moves to frame trap with. Now for the punishment section. When punishing the opponent, it's best to remember not just punishing the target when they are in the state where they can't block after, but also baiting the opponent into attacks to lead for big punishers. I'll show the starting number indicator to represent the starting frame to punish with. Now moves you can use outside of blocking the opponent's attacks. 1, 2, 2, or delay the last two, to check the opponent if they are impatient to counter hit launch. Use back 4 at mid range to catch the opponent attempting to wall run attack or trying to gap close with other skills, for a counter hit launch or to check them for moving in. Forward 2, 4, 4, the follow up 4 is a low. If the target attempts to attack impatiently, the low 4 will counter sweep the target and the ender 4 will then lead to a tailspin. 
if they block the low four but attempt to attack, then the last four may tailspin bound for another counter hit launcher. The last hit can be ducked against you. Wolf Standing 2 is great for punishing opponents using lows that are very minus on block around 16 frames. You can also duck the opponent's moves and attempt to bait into the Wolf Standing 2, although it's minus 17 on block. Forward 3 has decent reach. Use this to also low crush moves like special lows like D1s. On counter hit it leads to a launch. On regular hit it's minus 3 and on block it's minus 5. Down back 4 is best used against opponents that love to mash their highs. This move crushes highs and launches. Although it's a high move unironically, it's also duckable, and it's minus 13 on block. Full crouch down forward 4 1 is a low starter with a high ender. The last hit on counter hit launches a target. It's best to use it sparingly as the high ender can be ducked, while well, minus 11 on block. To go into Stealth Step, you can press down forward 3 plus 4. There are several moves or strings that go into Stealth Step. Whatever move you'll be using to go into Stealth Step requires you to press or hold down forward to enter Stealth Step from those moves. There are exceptions. Now for the moves after using Stealth Step, I'll label Stealth Step as SS, meaning Stealth Step Stance. SSS plus 1 is 12 frames on startup, plus 5 on hit, and minus 1 on block. Counter hit gives you either down back 2-1 for a heat engager, or down forward 4-3, four, and forward back 2. SSS plus 2 is 15 frames on startup, plus 8 on hit, but minus 9 on block. Counter hit leads into a knockdown. SSS plus 3 is 20 frames on startup. On hit gives a tornado bound, and if used after a bound, will give you a hit grab. It's minus 12 on block. You can get the same effect with 443. SSS plus 4, it's a low at 20 frames on startup, plus 3 on hit, while minus 14 on block. But on counter, it leads into a knockdown that gives you a free back 4. SSS 1 plus 2 is a heat engager. Without heat, it gives plus 8 and forces crouch on the opponent. On block, it's plus 2. SSS down forward 1 2 is a natural string that leads into a hit grab. On block, it's minus 4, but it can be ducked. SSS down forward 1 3, another natural string, but instead gives knockdown. It's minus 13 on block. For his combos, I'll be showcasing them in a state where the starting hit can be interchanged between other launching starters. Meaning, I won't showcase how they'll look with each different starter launcher, but I'll include them to the side for a few seconds, the Ray HUD. If you wish to take your time examining the starters, pause, and then continue to the demonstration. The combos will be labeled to easy, hard, and very hard.
There are a few other combo routes, but I'll postpone them for a later video as they are far too difficult for beginners to pick up, and I don't want you guys getting bad habits when trying to learn them. So another time. Also, I'll leave wall combos for a different video or stage specific combos. For mix-ups, Shaheen doesn't have many mix-up options that are unique to him besides the basics. There's up forward 1, pressing down, to cancel out of the move to trick the opponent into other moves. Back 3, which is great for frame trapping the opponent up close for more mix-up options since it's plus 3 on hit and on block. His best mix-up move would also be a slide kick. Here are other examples you can use with these moves, and other ones that I haven't included. Funny enough, his Okazame is really straightforward, there really isn't anything wild about his Okis. For one, his biggest ender, 443, already provides some form of Oki, as you can attempt to go for lows or even pressure with his mid-range attacks. Here are some examples. If the opponent decides to attack right after, you can use back 4. The counter hit launch him again. If they instead of 1 to use the recovery kick, use up forward 3. Or you can use your hop kick. If they wish to do a spring kick instead, always use back 4. Or you can sidestep away, and then launch him accordingly. Or instead, you can just grab them. You can apply the same level of Okazeme with his stealth step stance into 1 plus 2 on a knockdown as an ender. It gives him access to sidekick if you use it from crouching state. And if you wait a bit, you can use your full crash on Fort 4 as well. And if you go into stealth step, that means you can continue going for more setups. So there's several ways to go into heat with Shaheen. Normally it's by using your heat burst button or pressing 2 plus 3. But to enter it through heat engages, you need to use these moves. Back 1. Back 3 plus 4. Down back 2 1. Up 4 1. And stealth step into 1 plus 2. From his heat state, he has access to a few new tricks he can pull off. 
forward back 2 can now just frame normally without needing the executions and his new charging flash kick like move now guard breaks, giving him either a 10 to 13 frame punish against the opponent. So for example, I can do that move without needing to execute it quickly, so I can do it as many times as I want as well. In the case of the flash kick that I'm talking about, he has a new move by holding down and then for a couple of seconds, press up into 2, does his high move. Now this high move in itself gives him a knockdown and it's plus 2 on block. It has very limited uses besides using it during the wall, so if you're near the wall and let's say you get a launch and you're already preemptively charging the move, it gives him a bound. Certain stages that may have certain specific mechanics like floor blast or floor breaks or maybe even wall blast or wall bounds may give him access to utilizing this charging move to get himself the bound. But while the opponent is blocking, its special trait is that it no longer is plus two on block, instead now it heavily guard crutches the opponent. Though you're only limited to using it once or twice depending on how you activate your heat. What you gain access as well when doing the move and guard crushing is these few moves. 2-3 forward 2-3 and it's forward back 2 the only negative trait of this move is that if the opponent is already crouching or if they preemptively crouch to duck the move because the move is a high not only that I have not showcased that he has also one extra heat smash move that he can use this heat smash starts from a low and it can only be activated by going into Stealth Step. Now I will showcase some of his combos that he can perform while either going through a Heat Burst or while he's already in Heat. With this particular starter combo you can use while utilizing your heat burst, you can do it with essentially any combo that you already have seen in this video. As long as you end it with the heat burst and then try to use either your down back 2 into stealth step into the 1 plus 2 and then pressing forward allows you access to the heat dash. From there you can then end it with your wall running 2. From there you can also see that you can also use a forward 1 as your heat dash as well. As long as you end it with one of your heat engagers to go into a heat dash, you can end it then from there into your wall running 2. If you find doing your wall running 2 too difficult, just go for back 4. Now I'm going to showcase a couple of combos you can do while you're already in heat. He can only use these three heat engagers to give him his overall bounce or the float CC from using these heat engagers to go into the heat dash while in heat state. Instead, the other moves that he has access to to go into a heat dash doesn't give him the bounce. Instead, it gives him a knockdown. So for example, back 3 plus 4 
even when pressing down two, that usually picks up the opponent from off the ground, doesn't give him any float. Neither does down back to one. So be careful when using these two heat engagers to get yourself a heat dash right after to get yourself a combo. So this concludes the guide for Shaheen. I feel like I have managed to incorporate everything for beginners and even intermediate players to learning how to play Shaheen. If there's anything that I've missed for those high level Shaheens that may look under the comment section, please advise the beginners from what I've missed in this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.